Hey y'all, it's Hillary Tempo Sells, and this video today is about a theory. Um, through most of this year, uh, my eBay 90 day total has been around like 4,000, almost $5,000. Um, currently, my eBay total is around $2,000. And this started um, to slow down around August. And I was convinced it was just me uh, because there was an issue where my seller rating fell below standard, but it was not my fault. It was eBay's fault. Um, and I couldn't get them to take it off, even though they admitted it was their fault. Um, and there was nothing I can do. So I asked, okay, what can I do to avoid this? And they said, oh, there's nothing you can do to avoid it. Uh, well, you just have to uh, wait it out. So Skosh missed with miffed uh, with eBay on that uh, issue, but we won't talk about that issue unless you want to hear about it, uh, put it in the comments below. But anyway, I started thinking about it after I found out a lot of people, um, their eBay sales have dramatically slowed down. I mean, um, luckily I, I cross post and I post on different platforms. So while my eBay has slowed down, my Poshmark has gone way up, <laughs> higher than it's ever been before. So that is a blessing. Oh, today we're drinking hot, hot chocolate. Um, I had a thing of half and half in the refrigerator that was going to go bad tomorrow. So I'm like, I have to use it. Y'all, hot chocolate with all half and half? Kind of amazing. Can't believe I've never had this before. Anyway, I digress. So here is my theory. Um, since my sales have slowed down, um, I started to take a look at what happened in the last few months. And I believe, I don't know if it was in July or in August, they had eBay open. And eBay open was to roll out uh, a lot of the new features and what they're intending to do. And even if you didn't attend eBay open on the eBay platform itself, you know, they were promoting a lot of different things. Uh, one was the sale of luxury watches. So there was a deal, you could list a luxury wa watch, and I don't know what the deal was because I never have luxury watches, um, so I didn't even read it. Um, there's also, uh, they made the deal on sneakers if you sell sneakers uh, for, I think $100, yeah, $100 or more, you don't pay fees. Um, and that's been a, that's been a, for a, a bit, because uh, I sold a pair of Yeezys and I didn't pay any fees on them. So that was awesome. Um, and they're trying to get the sneaker heads to come to eBay to buy their sneakers and the sneaker sellers to sell their um, sneakers on eBay. They also went uh, and, um, talked about a new way of listing trading cards, um, sports and... I don't know, they were talking about Pokemon and everything. And there was a lot of information, uh, regardless of what um, session you went to during eBay Open. I mean, you could have gone to a session on, you know, um, how to boost your sales. And the only thing they would talk about were trading cards, sneakers, and luxury watches. Um, so I think in that push, and there was also some some changes to the personnel of of eBay in the upper echelons um, who made these decisions. Um, yeah, so uh, I just started putting this together in my head and tell me if you think I'm wrong. Um, because eBay is specifically going after these uh, three markets, somebody, some research or whatever, uh, targeted these as three growth uh, big money making markets. And so they decided to push everything they have uh, toward these three markets and anything else. So selling out of these three categories uh, just got dropped in the, <laughs> the uh, hierarchy of things that are important to eBay. Um, my sales lately have generally been um, for things that people would search specifically for. Um, I believe like my, uh, the electronic items I've sold have been selling still, um, but clothing has dropped way off. Um, collectibles has dropped way off. Uh, vintage has dropped way off. And during, I had already noticed this trend during eBay open. And, uh, one of the sessions I went to, uh, was, um, what's currently selling? What are, uh, the big ticket or, or the hottest, uh, search items being searched on eBay? Uh, during this time, um, or, you know, whatever time they looked at. Sorry, I wandered off. <laughs> and 
one of the, you know they gave us a you know showed us a, a nice little chart and said vintage is one uh, is the number one clothing search on ebay and they also said things like designer handbags and uh, really specific was um waist trainers you know those like corsety things um which i happen to have one that i hadn't listed so while we were doing that session, I immediately listed the waist trainer and um, some of my vintage items and my designer bags. I got very few uh, looks at them. Um, I put up a coach bag and a Dooney and Burke bag, the waist trainer, and about four or five vintage items, um, all clothing, I think. Um, yeah, because I just did exactly what they said. Um, <clears throat> all of those items are still listed, you know, months later, and they have a very little, very low watch count. Um, whereas on other platforms where they've cross-listed, and I cross-listed them high just to watch what's going on, um, have a much higher watch count. Um, so I feel like, um, and even when I did a search for something, on eBay just to do a comp search. I searched like, I don't know, I was at the fifth store. I searched something like, let's just say, uh, J. Crew uh, jeans. When I did that search for J. Crew jeans, a pair of sneakers showed up. They didn't have anything, didn't have crew in the title, in the listing or anything. Uh, didn't have J, wasn't, you know, Dr. J. It was, <laughs> there, there, was, there was no J-A-Y. There was no J, no crew, no blue, no jeans. Um, but it showed up when I did a search. So I have the feeling that they are pushing um, these three items and trying to make that make up for, you know, all of us nickel and dimers that are, you know, selling $20 uh, jeans and $30 handbags or whatever. Um, excuse me. Gotta drink it while it's hot. Um, so yeah, I also think that, um, they are, you know, hoping that doing this big push during Q4 um, has a big financial turnout for them. And I'm hoping, um, of course, that it doesn't because <laughs> I can only sell, I can only find so many, you know, high priced uh, sneakers. So um, I can't make a living off of high priced sneakers at the moment, maybe later. Um, but I have noticed that um, electronics, um, sports equipment, um, and winter wear, outer wear, um, has spiked. Whereas my things that normally sell for me, and I used to really generally have, uh, one to two sales every day. And then like maybe 15 on a weekend. Um, and now I'm getting like maybe four to seven a week. Um, I called, I, I looked on, on YouTube and found, you know, a thing about like resetting your account. Um, I followed the directions. It doesn't say whether, hey, think you're successful for resetting your account. So I don't know that it worked. Um, I've called eBay a number of times. I asked them, oh, you know, can you reset my account? And they didn't know what it was. Um, um, and they said, oh yeah. And then finally they said, oh yeah, I think I've heard about that, people doing that. It's from YouTube, right? And he's like, that's not a thing. I don't know if it is or isn't. You know, I usually uh, take... Uh, with a grain of salt, things that people say on customer service because their object is just to get you off the phone. Um, so, yeah. Um, so what I've been doing, you know, now that I think about it too, um, these categories are overwhelmingly male. I mean, there's, yeah, there's there's definitely uh, women doing that. and And I wonder... If they're just thinking like, oh, you know, Poshmark and Mercari have kind of cornered the the women's clothing and, um, you know, decor and kids markets with Kidizen and um, uh, what is it? Shop Thrilling with uh, Vintage. Um, shop Thrilling or Thrilling Shop? Shop Thrilling uh, with Vintage um, and Thread Up and The Real Real and everything. So I, maybe they feel like the market's too diversified and they decided, eBay decided that they were going to niche down. Um, but it's it's overwhelmingly male. Hmm. Thinking. 
And now that I think about it, a lot of the new executives um, at eBay are also male. Interesting. I hadn't thought about that. Let's put that on the back burner. Um, so yeah, I think that they are trying to uh, niche down their market and get away from, you know, being known for like women's clothing and luggage and car parts or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, and and uh, go for these big ticket items. But so at some point they're going to have to say like, oh, you sell your sneakers on eBay. You're going to have to pay fees. Because if you're getting your, if you're doing your shipping outside of eBay, how is eBay making any money unless you're paying uh, to do the listing? Um, and I don't know, I haven't done the research to know how many um, resellers are there of um, high-end sneakers. I don't know. I mean, it seems like a lot, but it doesn't seem like a ridiculous amount uh, enough to... Um, bank a corporation's fourth quarter sales on. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean, I'm just a little, little old me. What do I know? Um, so what do you think about that theory? Uh, if your sales are slow, I'm so sorry. And if your sales are not slow, you're doing awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. And I hope uh, you have an amazing fourth quarter. I hope we all have an amazing fourth quarter. Um, for me, what I am doing is I am just listing more on Poshmark. Um, I am taking items that I would normally sell on um, on eBay to Facebook and Mercari. And so we'll see, I haven't really seen much of a return in that. My Mercari sales are up a little bit. Um, I have to stop treating Mercari like they're the Isle of Misfit Toys. Um, um, that's kind of how I feel because it's like every time I get ready to take every take everything down and just like, I'm not going to sell on Mercari anymore, then I get a sale. So I get a sale on Mercari like every month or so. And I and to be honest, I don't um, I don't uh, push it as much as I should have. I should. I should have. Anyway, um, also on eBay, um, I list, I still list uh, because it's some, you know, they want to know that your account is active, that you're not just like resting on your laurels because you got, you know, 900 items up. And um, so I list, uh, try to make sure I list something there every day. Um, I use my offer, uh, offer to watchers feature um, regularly. And I host sales in my store uh, weekly. Um, I did take down, any, I don't normally use a lot of promoted listings. Oh, oh, that was another thing that they also um, talked about at eBay Open. Uh, is they have a new promoted listings feature. I really should have looked that up, Hillary. Psh, goodness. Um, they have a new promoted uh, promotion feature. Um, which I'm not sure what it is. I can't remember now. Um, it seemed like I remember it was like some sort of package deal, but I could totally be wrong. But they still have their current promoted listings program where you can um, say, I'm going to sell, you know, this mug. And uh, I say, you know, I'm selling it for $18, but I, you know, let's promote it. And uh, let's uh, do 1.9 of the sale uh, goes toward promoting this mug. Um and, and after, you know, <laughs> I wasn't really seeing, I, before I could see a lot of traction. I could, you know, watch the, the, um, the numbers go up, um, on, on the individual listings of, of people that had visited the, um, the listing, but now not so much. So I discontinued all of my promoted listings, which wasn't a lot. I do maybe like, I don't know. 10 to 20 of uh, items and they have to be like a fairly significant dollar amount and things that uh, haven't sold in like a month. I'll go ahead and go, hmm, you know, this is a high dollar amount I'm asking. I want $200 for this. Let's put it on promoted listings. Um, occasionally I will do some lower priced items and I rarely do more than 2% um, on each item. Um, yeah, so I uh, discontinued that and I... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really do much more than that. Uh, they also were pushing the coupon program, which I'm getting ready to look into that. It was, um, you have to create the coupon in Seller Hub. Um, 
and uh, then you can send it to, I think, past buyers. That Yeah, that's what it is. You can send it to somebody that's already purchased. You can say, oh, here's a coupon for, I don't know, 20% off your next pair of shoes. Um, yeah, so... Um, I think also with Poshmark, the reason that I can, um, I feel like I have more control over my closet in Poshmark because I have the option to share my items and have other people share my items and share other people's items and put them in a bundle and give them a special offer or, you know, mark everything down and closet clear out or um, offer to likers days or whatever. I feel like I have more control over what I do there. So I also believe that's why my numbers have gone up uh, there um, because I've just been working on that because they're the ones that are getting the money, getting, getting my bills paid. So um, I'd love to hear what you have to say on this theory of mine. I'm still muddling it over in my old brain and I would love some input. So I don't know if this video was really informative, um, but it is what it is. And I thank you so much for watching it. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and subscribe or like this video. Subscribe and like this video. Hmm. Um, anyway, I hope that your sales are plentiful and I uh, hope you have a good night.